Like generations of indigenous artists before her, the majority of her work explores and celebrates the traditional indigenous worldviews on spirituality and natural medicines. Her work often symbolizes the connectivity and respect that should always be present between humans and nature. This connectivity is often represented by roots, flowers, and plants, symbolizing how ancestry has great influence over people's lives and the equal need for nurture for Mother Earth to survive. Her painting style is inspired by Métis floral beadwork, a technique she has studied for over 10 years. What we would like to share with you today is Christie's passion for art and social awareness related to indigenous rights, the environment, and how collaboration can help raise awareness. This is Christy Belcourt. Christy Belcourt uses cutting edge applied arts and design and new technologies in an effort to raise awareness and to create momentum towards innovative societal change while respecting traditional protocols and ancestral cultural traditions. <laughs> For me, winning an award is uh, not as important as what comes next. There are 50 Indigenous languages out of the 53 that are going to go extinct. So there isn't really um, a lot of time to be thinking about uh, what somebody's done in the past, if they've accomplished anything when there's so much more work to be done. So I look forward to um, the future of what can be achieved. And as certainly through technology, we can look forward to a greener, cleaner environment. Walking with our sisters, honoring art installation project. In 2012, Christy began the Walking with our sisters project to honor the lives of murdered indigenous women and girls throughout Canada and the United States. This project has developed into an international seven-year touring memorial, which will continue on until 2019. It involves over 1,500 artists and thousands of volunteers. So far, over 30,000 people have visited it in 13 communities. Over 1,181 Native women and girls in Canada have been reported missing or have been murdered in the last 30 years. Many vanished without sufficient investigation into their disappearance or murders paid by the media, the general public, politicians and even law enforcement. This is a travesty of justice. Walking with our sisters is a massive commemorative art installation made up of 1,763 pairs of moccasin vamps, which are tops, and 108 pairs of children's vamps. The vamps were created and donated by hundreds of caring individuals to draw attention to this injustice. The large collaborative art piece is available to the public throughout galleries. It is a floor installation made up of beaded vamps arranged in a winding path on fabric and includes cedar bows. Viewers must remove their shoes and walk on a path of cloth alongside the vamps. Each pair of vamps represents one missing or murdered Indigenous woman. The unfinished moccasin vamps represent the unfinished lives of the woman. The children's vamps are dedicated to children who never returned home from residential schools. The installation represents all these women, paying respect to their lives and existence on this earth. They are sisters, mothers, aunts, daughters, cousins, grandmothers, wives, and partners. They have been cared for, they have been loved, they are missing, and they are not forgotten. Christy Belcourt has collaborated with different artists since the beginning of her career, but there is one collaboration in particular which caused the most controversy. In 2014, Christy Belcourt created Water Song, a four meter long acrylic painting which illustrated the sacredness of water. This painting caught the eye of famous Italian designer Valentino, who reached out to her via email in hopes of collaborating. Initially, Belcourt thought the emails were spam, and she ignored them. 
Several attempts later, Belcour realized that this was a real proposal. She agreed to work with Valentino on a collection of beaded dresses, which are reminiscent of Meti traditional clothing. However, the designing company had to meet her eco-friendly standards. Here is what she had to say. Um, we started with some conversations about appropriation. We spoke about uh, whether they had ever had uh, models walk down the runway with uh, headdresses on. We also spoke about the environment and what their environmental stance was. They have been voted number one by Greenpeace for their environmental stance. They have a commitment to reduce all toxins out of their production line by 2017. So those two things were really important for me. So they agreed and, um, and, and I agreed and, and then we just took it from there. Water. <laughs> the main inspiration for Water Song is water. It's an ode to fresh water. It's about the sacredness of water, the beauty of water, the spirits that are in water. And of course, there's incredible stresses on the waters around the world. And we know that without fresh water, we won't, we won't survive and neither will any other species. So water is probably the most important issue that us as human beings are facing right now but yet we're the ones that are responsible for it. And so we need to think about that in everything that we do.